gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am back on the survival multiplayer vanilla Minecraft, Minecraft server, sorry, watching a lot of Minecraft guys lately, uh, got their intros stuck in my head, uh, but yeah, I'm here with another episode of building this city, uh, I believe it is episode number 21. Um, and I'm just walking around here like a madman. Um, anyway, let's see. First up, I am going to show you the results of a uh, overnight, actually over a weekend long test of some uh, of the witch farm. And, uh, and then I'm going to get into working on this episode's project, which happens to be the start of of a sorting system. So, uh, without further ado, let me get on to those, uh, those, they are pre-recorded clips. Um, already done those, and this intro is recorded after the fact, but uh, I hope you enjoy, and we'll be right back with you in just a moment. I've been running non-stop for um, over 48 hours, roughly. And really, the spawn rates are not the best. Hmm. I would expect a whole lot more. Hmm. See, it ran for how long? Huh. Yeah, that's just, that's not enough unless somebody's raiding it already. Which. Let's see, we just got some. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not enough. Not for an entire weekend. said I was going to start working on the sorting system, and I will, but I just wanted to show you something I've finished um, just after the last cut. We'll do a, um, a big reveal here. We're back in the basement of the witch farm cellar, and you can see I've been doing some work. Looks a lot different, doesn't it? Um, I tidied up, made a little observation platform up here, and you can see a hole over there. You can get to this way. If we need to do maintenance, we can. So we'll go back through here. Close that. Pretty simple. Some sticky pistons and, uh, and a lever. And then um, we got that all lined up use some of this as you can see under here for the most part we are ready to go um, some niceties if we need to do maintenance we can get up here you see I've hidden a lot of it didn't fill it back in um, let's see the other thing oh and then up here not much different there just covered that in with stone brick um, you know, it seems kind of sterile as far as the decoration goes, but that works. It's kind of an industrial type build, so it's kind of the look I went for and it's flying by the seat of my pants a little bit. So um, this ties in more with the witch farm up top because it's all, or mostly, smooth stone half slabs. And uh, so, yeah, I wanted to show that to you while, um, um, before I get going too far on the sorting system, and while we're doing that, let's, uh, let's head on up there. So, um, I've decided I'm going to leave the nether portals in the state of disrepair that they are for now, to kind of encourage me to work on finishing the perimeter and doing all the cave lighting. 
So that's really that, that top portion that where I did the AFK. It's really temporary. Um, ultimately, I want to do most of the work. Wait, um, grab some of this. Not much room, okay. It's temporary because I want to do the AFK down in the uh, in the collection area. Um, and just a note of some of the stuff I've been doing up here. Dump off this. Okay, I've started work on the sorting system. Um, first by taking out that initial contraption. The other thing I've done is um, put in the beginnings of a rail line that will go out that way uh, to the edge of the perimeter. And so we'll run a minecart in here. And similar to last time, this has about the same type of setup. Let's see if I can make it there. Okay. Um, it will auto return the minecart once it has offloaded everything. And everything currently is offloading into a hopper dropper down. Okay. And then a little hopper highway over to this hopper dropper. Actually, this is going to be the start of the sorting system. And, um, we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, I wanted to show you the progress I've been doing. Um, a lot of it off camera. I've got my uh, some of the build requirements here. I've started working on digging this down. Eventually this is going to be all the way underground. Um, so yeah, I've got some things going here. And uh, but for now, that's all the time I've got for at the moment. So um, I'm going to do a little cut. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so right now, what I want to do is set up the sorting system for the bulk storage. This is going to be dirt, uh, cobble, smooth stone, grass blocks, and another th Oh, yeah. My sorting item. Let me pull that out. So the first thing you got to do is build this line here. Don't worry, this is going to continue on, but for now, this is what we're doing. Um, and next, we're going to take comparators facing outward, like this. And we're going to take some more hoppers. Where'd they go? There they are. that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be what actually starts the sorting. We'll program those in a bit. But now we've got redstone signal to take care of. So, we're going to dig out some. doing this based on memory from the um, there we go based on the sorting design that um, the zip crowd guys use So the first thing, we've got to get redstone here in the back. Then, uh, let's see, let's 
still gotta go down one more here. So when I first opened up this episode, I said uh, we'd have to wait a little bit. Um, not wait a little bit, but uh, that I would be spending time uh, or get immediately started on this, but as I was um, starting up, I realized, oh, uh, uh, my, uh, my workhorse here is uh, almost out of juice, and uh, that's a bit of a problem. So I had to spend some time at the Blaze Farm. Ooh, there we go. Coal, like I need it. Hey, every little bit helps. Pull out the Silk Touch pick here. I've got tons of this stuff back in the, uh, the home base. It's amazing how much material you got to dig out here. Should have done this off camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, the next thing here. The repeater facing that way. And that needs to power. just under the comparator block. So we can go down one more here. <laughs> you hear the zombies hanging around. How many did we go in? Five. Let's just connect it over here. sneaking suspicion that there is a cave right close by. Again, I still have not done the exploration over here. Mostly because we need to do the exploration for the perimeter. So hoppers are going to come down this way from, uh, from those. These are going to be the, the filters, and then the bulk storage is going to come off of this row. For now, we need to just get this going. I'm sorry guys, I thought I had it memorized. 
nice, but apparently not. So uh, let me do that real quick. And I'll actually link that in the description. But let me do that real quick, and then I will be back with you, right? And we're back. I think I've got it now. So um, let's see. These guys are starting to annoy me a little bit. here and then yeah. yeah I'm just gonna clear this out we'll fill it back in the smooth stone later and then we take the sticky piston That's right. And then we got to do more of the same. We'll find out soon enough. Let me set this up. explaining it, he's doing it in creative, it's a lot easier. So you can just fly around and use world edit, all that neat stuff. Alright, yeah, sticky piston, this thing, I just do that to show that, hey, this block is useful for something. setting up the, the uh, bulk storage here. But let's get these hoppers in place just so we can do a test to make sure I've done this right. Yeah, that, okay. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get this thing programmed. So, the first thing we do from back to front. Feel that. Okay, so I'm using bowls as the um, as the uh, throwaway item. This is just enough, and we'll need 18. So that's how the numbers work. We need some lag. And so we need to build some bowls, some more. Oh, let's 
much we need. This one's going to need four more. These aren't going to need any more. But I would like one for, um, for test purposes. this one. Okay. Now, what we should see. Oh, I need to program the rest of it. So, um, need dirt. And I'll put grass blocks there. I don't have any on me. Do I? blocks. Here we go. Eventually that storage system is going to go bye-bye. I don't know what I'll put there though. Because down here is going to be storage. Okay. She could sprint downstairs. Alright. So now I've got dirt in that one. In fact, I could even throw the bowls in there. And it goes down to 18. Throw grass in there. Cobble. I just got rid of some. Isn't that great? I rid of all my cobble. So the hardest part for this this uh, storage system was it's not really the building of it. It's the um, just trying to figure out where to put stuff. That took me a little bit. Bowls. Dirt. There we go. Okay, come on. So our bulk storage sorter is done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry this each, well, this particular line is just going to go to a chest. In fact, I should have done it over here. So let me do that real quick. And that's... The, the reason I'm going to do that is in case a bowl gets thrown in, um, it won't be a, it won't make cause any tr problems. Should find Can I not throw I thought I threw four in there. Huh. Oh, because oh, it's locked. is. Again, this is bulk storage, so it doesn't matter if some gets stuck in there. So, yeah, um, the next
nice thing to do is uh, what I'm imagining for this area is that right here we'll have a set of stairs going down. Just wrap around and wrap under this thing and come down into a massive room full of um, items. I'll dress it up, but it'll be pretty It'll be put down pretty deep, and I'll cover that all up. So we'll have a massive, um, in, in building lingo, it's called an interstitial space, a space between the floors. So we're going to have a massive amount of interstitial space. And, um, yeah, all right. So let me get to that, and I'll come back when I've got that all settled. All right, back in a bit. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have checked the overall uh, time for uh, the footage we have so far for this episode, and it is over 30 minutes, so I am going to finish this up real quick. Um, let me just show you what I've gotten done. We finished off the sorter, and then um, I said I was going to work on the actual bulk storage, but... Uh, let me throw in a bunch of stuff here. Um, yeah, this we can actually take care of a lot of this now. All right, so that's going. Bit of a frame rate drop. And here we go. Here is the bulk storage area. Um, it's kind of Spartan at the moment, um, I, and actually that is a request to you. Let me know what you think. Do you like the nether brick? Um, do you prefer the stone brick? Maybe maybe something else. Let me know what you think. Um, we've got some time on this one. It's not a community build, so I don't need to hurry up and finish it. This is personal base here. Um, well, maintenance access. Um, just to show you real quick, I've got this massive uh, rat's nest of hoppers going every which way. So up here is the dirt, grass, smooth stone, gravel, cobble. Okay, and that all goes to the various areas that way, that way. Um, I was originally thinking of doing kind of a rectangular area and hallways for each one, um, but that was going to be really cumbersome and not really warranted because I don't need that much for each of these areas. So, um, so yeah, I went with more of a circle or a semicircle. Uh, there's a little bit of room to expand here and here, and that's it. Um, so for now, uh, let's just wrap this up. Let me know. What do you think? Um, nether brick, stone brick, something else. Um, and then hopefully it'll probably be a couple episodes and we'll be back here um, and I can show you the full set because this only covers the bulk storage items. There is the overflow from that. Um, it's coming off of here. Do a different sorting system for that. But next episode, I want to show you some of the updates around Spawn Village. So, uh, so we'll be over there. All right, that is it for now. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this, put a thumbs up on it. It helps me out. And if you want to just be notified of when I do updates, feel free to subscribe. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Look forward to chatting with you, and until next time, I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.